75,000 people across all areas of Edinburgh's Hogmanay from the Cayley under the castle with Edinburgh Gent to Hogmanay HQ and all corners of the street party were led in a moving rendition of Auld Lang Syne after the midnight fireworks by Rag and Bone Man. Underbelly, the new producers of Edinburgh's Hogmanay on behalf of the City of Edinburgh Council confirmed that the arena had sold out and a capacity crowd had enjoyed the best street party ever with more performers and entertainment throughout the evening. The all-female divas and districts pipes and bands and LED drumming sensation spark made an early move to claim the evening's best moment in an incredible drum-off with spectacular energy and light raising the crowd's energy early in the evening on Prince's Street. The world-famous street party got a facelift for its 25th anniversary from some of the best international events creatives in the world and dazzled partygoers with a huge range of entertainment popping up, from parker runners on the new ribbon stages to aerialists dancing on the sides of buildings down Edinburgh's famous Main Street. A fantastic lineup of bands across the three stages in the street party arena included Sacred Paws a lively dance set from Nightworks and Human League who drew a bumper crowd to the Waverly stage, Barnes Courtney, Colonel Mustard and the Dijon Five and Treacherous Orchestra on the East End stage, the Mac Twins and Huey Morgan who got the crowd jumping at the fantastic Newcastle Street DJ pod. In a special pre-midnight moment Edinburgh's Hogmanay played the KLF's What Time Is Love Across the Street Party Arena. The first time in over 20 years it has been heard and played thanks to special permission from the KLF themselves. Sanjeev Kohli, the Hogmanay host, kept the party going as revelers were entertained by aerialists, flash mobs, bands, choirs, and many other surprise moments on podium stages and walls throughout the arena. Sanjeev led the countdown in the crowd collecting New Year's resolution. This year's spectacular midnight moment was, for the first time, choreographed to a specially commissioned soundscape created by Skyband Nightworks and award-winning sound designer and film composer Dan Jones in collaboration with fireworks experts Titanium. Brand new fireworks called Planets stunned the audience with their fizzy sherbet middles and a drum solo in the middle saw showers of pink and gold arrows ricocheting into the night sky. At the sold-out concert in the gardens, Edinburgh's own Nina Nesbitt kicked off the night sharing stories with the capacity crowd in Prince's Street Gardens. The audience of 10,000 in the gardens lit up for Rag and Bone Man's powerful anthemic set with the crowd going mad for Hell Yeah and his finisher Gimme Shelter by the Rolling Stones. Charlie Wood and Ed Bartlom Directors of Underbelly who produce Edinburgh's Hogmanay on behalf of City of Edinburgh Council said, The day started with a storm and ended with a bang, without a doubt this was the best party ever. Our nine minutes fireworks choreographed to Nightworks and Dan Jones' score was truly spectacular and who will forget Dragon Bone Man leading 75,000 in Auld Lang Syne? What a special way to ring in 2018. We're particularly proud of the first Barons of Four event, it was quite magical to see families looking up and enjoying their very own midnight moment together and at 6pm in the evening. Our specially built DJ booth had crowds dancing in the street and under the Mac Twins and Huey Morgan right through to the wee small hours. It's been spectacular and we'd like to thank all those who came and made the party such a great night for Edinburgh and Scotland. We're tired and happy but tomorrow morning we will be flinging ourselves into the river forth for the Looney Dook. It's going to be bra. Free Hogmanay night bus services ran throughout the capital once again, supported by the City of Edinburgh Council and provided by Lothian buses. And Edinburgh trams again ran free services helping many partygoers get home safely. Chief Superintendent Kenny MacDonald, Divisional Commander for Edinburgh said, Edinburgh has once again shown why it's one of the greatest cities in the world, welcoming in the new year in tremendous fashion. I would like to thank all of my officers and staff and the stewards for their outstanding work in helping us deliver another fantastic event. Extensive planning and discussions between ourselves, 
City of Edinburgh Council and Underbilly took place over several months, allowing us to deploy appropriate resources within the street party arena and ensure we kept the public safe. In addition to uniformed officers, specialist resources, including armed officers were present on the evening. This was purely as a precaution, but I think it provided the public with a sense of reassurance while they enjoyed the festivities. It is very pleasing to note that the street party passed with no major incidents and only four arrests were made for minor disorder offences. A comprehensive analysis of our arrest figures will be compiled as the day continues. Councillor Ian Campbell, Vice Convener of the Culture and Communities Committee at the City of Edinburgh Council, said, yet again, that Ambrose Hogmanay celebrations have been the envy of cities across the globe. This has been another record-breaking year for Edinburgh's Hogmanay, with over 75,000 revellers from all over the world bringing in the bells with us at the concert in the gardens, Street Party and Kaylee in the gardens. What an extraordinary send-off for the 70th anniversary of Edinburgh's festivals, and a fantastic way to kickstart 2018. This was my first experience of Edinburgh's Hogmanay celebrations and they did not disappoint. It's true, Edinburgh really is the best place in the world to celebrate New Year. Edinburgh's Hogmanay Festival doesn't stop when the bells finish ringing. On Monday, January 1, 2018, the brave, the foolhardy and the generous dive into the chilly Firth of Forth for the Looney Duke, raising money for a huge range of charities in the process. The New Year's Day dip sees 1,100 dukers in fancy dress ranging from the weird to the wonderful, welcome the new year by running into the River Forth at South Queen's Ferry. Thousands of spectators are expected to line the streets to watch the Dukers parade through the town from 9 a.m. before plunging into the chilly water under the shadow of the world-famous Forth Bridges. South Queen's Ferry has a variety of pubs, cafes and restaurants, all of which will be open on New Year's Day. As dusk falls on 1st of January, Edinburgh, the world's first UNESCO city of literature, celebrates its rich literary heritage and that of Scotland with projections across buildings and landmarks across the city. In a nod to Robert Burns's poem sketch New Year's Day, message from the skies sees literary star Val McDermott join with dramaturg, Philip Howard of Pearl Fisher, Edinburgh-based projection company Double Take Projections and some of Scotland's best soundscape artists to create and write a new short story which will lead audiences on a trail around Edinburgh. Message from the Skies runs until January 25, 2018 in a celebration of the Bard's Day 2. Message from the Skies is a joint commission by Edinburgh's Hogmanay and Edinburgh International Book Festival and is developed in partnership with Edinburgh City of Literature and is supported by Creative Scotland through the Scottish Government's Edinburgh Festivals Expo Fund.